Now, from your hyperlocal weather source, this is your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Resorts Atlantic City, celebrating 45 years of fine dining, entertainment, and relaxation at the Jersey Shore. Celebrate all season long by visiting our exquisite restaurants, dance the night away at Bar One, and try your luck on the casino floor. Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. Today is the day where we're going to start to see some improvements as far as the weather is concerned. We're going to get past some of those impacts from what was Tropical Storm Ophelia. We're starting off with temperatures in the 60s, so believe it or not, it's actually pretty mild. Throughout the rest of the day today, we'll be topping out pretty much mostly in the low 70s. We're staying very cloudy for the entire day ahead. We're also going to continue to see a chance for some rain, but the good news is the wind speeds those will be slowly starting to taper off. So let's look at the rain activity. We are still seeing some widespread heavy rain across our area. That's going to continue to be the trend all the way through to about 11 a.m. noon today. Then after that, we will see some scattered shower activity stick around for the afternoon and earn into the early evening. Now overnight tonight we will dry out, stay cloudy. Uh, the winds will really significantly die down overnight tonight. And then we have one more uh, opportunity for some showers on Monday, kind of middle part of the day. We're going to see some moisture try to wrap around the back end of what was Ophelia, kind of moving down out of the south. That will be much lighter activity. It's also going to be at the same time where we see our last little round of pretty strong wind gusts. So here Here's a look at the potential rainfall. Uh, aside from what has already fallen, the heavy rain that we're seeing this morning is going to drop maybe about another two inches for a number of locations. So still the small opportunity for some flash flooding uh, when that heavier rain is falling. But then the second half of the day today and Monday, the rain chances uh, look a, a lot lower and the amount of rain also looks a lot lower. So here's a look at what we're tracking as far as the wind. It is still plenty breezy out there uh, as of right now. You can see uh, some spots are down into the teens. Meanwhile, you travel a little bit further to the north and off to the west and you're running into those 40 mile per hour wind gusts. Now the middle part of the day today, things will kind of quiet down significantly. That's in the center of what was Ophelia kind of passes overhead. So a little bit of some quieter weather on the way for this afternoon. That's also going to be the same time that we see uh, the rains kind of briefly subside. But you can see that by Monday morning, the pocket of quiet conditions that's slowly going to work its way further off the coast and off to the east and we're going to see not only the moisture on the back end but those stronger winds kind of on the uh, on that north on um, western portion of Ophelia kind of move back in so Monday afternoon another gusty day on the way those wind speeds will jump back up into the 30s and then slowly as we look forward to Tuesday the wind will kind of start to give up and we will be seeing some quieter weather on the way for the week ahead here's a look at your day forecast. Still some lingering cloud coverage for Tuesday, but it does look drier. It looks a lot more comfortable. Temperatures will be on the cooler side for the next couple of days, the first half of the week with those highs in the 60s, but slowly the second half of the week we are back up into the 70s. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your morning. I'll be checking in with you later on.